Yo, what's going on, chat? And I'm finna be going over every single skill tree so you guys know which one you want to play when you start the game. Uh, like and subscribe, please. I don't want to take the second. And, you know what I mean? Just like and subscribe. But if you want to start the game off and you feel like going this tree, let me go in depth and explain this tree, like what it really means. Last video I made on this game, I said this tree basically kills Titans at a, like for a longer time. But I, I kind of didn't really exaggerate on what I meant by when I say this tree. Okay, so when you go to this part in this tree, then you have two seconds to choose from. But before you get to that part, you get band-aids you get this one automatically reloads your blades this tree is basically like a commander like if you play titan age it's basically like a commander tree this is something erwin would go in okay this one right here mark up the five titans within a 500 meter range for 30 seconds taking 10 percent more damage and 15 percent more vulnerable but this one okay this helps kill titans right you get this aim assist makes the nate a hook point Okay, and then you get this. Unlock an extra support slot. So this one is basically another support tree. So then you get to go in a two different sections here. This section right here, this one basically is like a super commander. Like you get the rest of the commander stuff. You get stuff to make your, your entire team. Like this stuff over here makes your team do things greater. But this side over here, it's also helpful for your team. But for this one over here, right? It's like you, okay, this one, increases your team's damage this side over here increases your team damage if you want to be that type of player this side over here like give stuff for your team like you you can you can heal your team you can give them uh gas and stuff like supply crates and, and whatnot and stuff like that so this one over here is like helpful for like supply crates and, and getting your team out of sticky situations and stuff like that like when they need odm you know what i mean like when they need odm as you can see i have 53 skill points left so after you completely like okay so say you had the clan you want and then you use all your skill points to get the stuff that you want whatever uh i'm just pressing stuff so say you get all this stuff you know titan shifting all the stuff that you want right only have 32 skill points left all right so you have 32 skill points left so if you have 32 skill points left and you get to that point you could probably i believe just get like right here now then you have five left really just get like right here so this is like what a maxed out skill tree would be when you have no more points left okay it'll be like right here this is like a max out skill tree would be after you you know what i mean i'm not sure if these ones over here were quite okay so if you go all the way down here it's obviously gonna you know what i mean you're gonna you're gonna have less points so let me just restart my points again so yeah go this route if you want to be like a commander and just help your team just a support player be a true support player you go this route for a true support player you go over here where my mouse is if you want to help your team do more damage you go over here where my mouse is if you want to heal your team and give them more odm supply so let's go straight down the middle now if you go straight down the middle it's literally just helping you you your blades do more damage basically all these moves just help your blades do more damage uh give you give you a, a, a offense slot you more blade moves so then this one is also cut into two this over here this one gives you rising slash this one gives you a spinning titan damaging force drill dust so if you go down and get the get these two moves right here this one eliminate up to three nearby titans and spin like a beyblade dealing consistent damage on contact odm speed and this one bloodlust damage increases so what i'm seeing is both help you kill titans but what i'm seeing is this one like if you go down this tree right here go to this one because you get a guaranteed skill here it has 65 second cooldown but it's a guarantee eliminate three enemy titans um yeah i honestly go this one this one seems more damage orientated like all this stuff seems more damage orientated and and, and weapon cooldown orientated if you go all the way down here you get 28 skill points left so if you really want to just go damage wise i'd say go down here like fully and then this tree is more like crit damage crit chance and 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 odm speed you know what i mean so like go down this one if you want more crit damage crit chance odm speed go down this one if you want more like pure damage and blade durability but they both like both trees like you know what i mean both trees help you out if you're an offensive player so it, it's it's really worth for both all right so let's go over a quick little recap what what's been happening so far like i said this tree is purely for like okay go down this path if you want to be like a commander help your team do more damage go down this path if you want to heal your team but also you know help them out you know what i mean like the it, it, it's designed in a way of like if people are around you and if they're on your team you know what i mean they just they do better okay so go down this this is the defense slot if, if you were to go down this slot but want to play a different slot i'd recommend just going right here so you can have your defense slot all right so then there's when you go right here there's two things you can get there's two things you can get when you go around there i wouldn't really recommend this one entirely because this one kind of blows for me but oh, there's two things you can get Get when you go down here okay so the first move on this one is instantly uh, escape from a titan's grab and kill them already counter 
and this one is sacrifice 30 percent health instantly healing one injury increases injury chance reduction by 10 percent I, I ain't gonna lie i don't really God, this one isn't really crazy i ain't gonna lie this one isn't good bro if, if you have the the titan healer thing this one isn't really good i wouldn't use this all right so you think you get this one lower emergency uh relocation cost by 15 percent hp escape grab with one less input so basically if you go down this path like it's it's easier to escape titans slow titans limits recovery by 75 percent ignore up to two injuries this one right here emergency uh relocation now last 20 seconds so this one tree down here is basically like just pure defense if you want to go like pure defense like and defending yourself against titans and stuff this one's like pure defense and then down here this tree is basically like this one's like sacrificing your health but like you have more health you know what i mean so like the game gives you more hp but you also can like sacrifice your health and like escape titans and stuff i don't really like this one to be honest i like up this move this move is cool ignore two injuries but if you have a good clan you can already ignore two injuries this one okay yeah i don't know i don't really like this one they're both like support for you but if you were to go support for yourself and nobody else like literally for yourself i just go down this route to be honest this one's way better and then you have 49 more sp points left so i'm pretty sure you can go like you can max this one out too yeah you can max both these out so if you want to be like a true support player like for yourself and for others i'd honestly just max out both of these or if you want to just be a support for yourself go down here and then go down here i don't know but if you also go down here you could also just go down here since you can heal yourself all right so this is my thoughts and what i recommend i mean i guess i went over everything really so it's basically whatever you feel most comfortable playing like if you just want to for your first playthrough i won't lie i recommend is going down going down like here and then you know what i mean and then picking which one you want that's what i recommend for your for your first playthrough i'd probably just go down this path to be honest and then have 33 sp left and then probably you know what i mean just get shifting if you have it uh get the shifter region if you have it get another defense perk slot get this one on a version of death you will use the wrath of your will power and prevent your mistake with a second life this is why jaeger is so good bro jaeger you get shifter region and you get a second life passive so if you die you just come back at least a roar of distress rapper okay yeah jaeger is honestly the best clan in the game i wish i had it all right i'm in game now you guys seen the build that i picked up here so yeah this is basically how the build would play out i don't i don't have any like i don't have any moves equipped oh my god i'm getting cooked oh my god oh what okay this is not how to build would play out this is this is this is not how to build would play out you know i died just so i could showcase aaron's revival skill you know what i mean so this is not how the build will play out. <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> All right, bro. That's the end of the video, bro. I I'll mess with you guys, bro. If I helped you out, let me know, bro.